we want the guy who's actually taking the steps to have control of when he turns, when he steps, which way he goes. So we're driving. We are driving. And rem remember, Peter, the, dri the driver, is going to have big creature legs. So he's actually walking the legs as he's doing this. He has the control, which is great, because he can stop if he uh, kind of gets tripped up or anything. But man. He won't have to be hunched over like that. So he should be able to get you big. Guys did it. You guys did it. <laughs> it actually moves great. This rig will be, with the puppeteers, close to 2,000 pounds. What you're seeing now is movement of both the arms, you're seeing now movement of the head. This is the final bottom, so this is the powers in place. Yep. This now has multi-function, right? I see your wrist is moving. We've got all the uh, the shoulder joints are up here. The rotate is on a really nice, sturdy bearing. This is the head movement right okay. here, and then we're calling this the base neck. Okay. So it turns left and right, and I was concerned that it wouldn't be able to look down enough, but with what the parallelogram does, go all the way down. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's the important wow. thing is like you be able to look at kids. Yeah, just imagine a little three year old. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time that we've seen uh, this actually happen. Go to wired.com for the entire Giant Creature series.